On the superior side of this guy, the first part of the genome, we have the entrance into the lesser sac. So we can, you, all you can say, epipolite foramen. You remember the structure? Uh, we will be leaving a lecture on the peritoneum where we can show the epipolite foramen. It's kind of like that. There's an opening. There's an entrance towards the lesser sac from the greater from the greater sac. All right. So that would that actually helps us to understand the epipolite uh, foramen. We'll be talking about epipolite foramen in another video where we explain the peritoneum. So I'll just leave it like this. Epi like foramen just you have to you know kind of memorize it and on the inferior side or you can say we can say we can see that we have got the pancreatic head or the head of the pancreas so we're gonna say that head of the pancreas on the inferior side of this guy right now we're going to talk about the second part of the duodenum. But before talking about the second part of the duodenum, we must go through a little bit theory, like a little bit idea what is actually and what we have in the second part of the duodenum. Uh, and then we're going to talk about the uh, about the uh, relations of different different uh, like different structures and compared compared to the uh, second part of the duodenum. All right. So let's talk about the second part of the duodenum. So the second part of the duodenum is actually you know kind of runs vertically downward you know in front of your hilum so we've got a kidney out here you can see this kidney and kidney must have a hilum like hilum is an opening where the, the structures go into the kidney like vein arteries go into the kidney and come out of it so we have got hilum kind of over here so that's why kind of hilum is posterior to this structure and uh, this uh, this second part is actually you are uh, where is post is the if you go posterior to this part or uh, you can see it's actually located on the second and third lumbar vertebra on the second and third lumbar vertebra if you go posteriorly right and out here on the second part we have got two major uh, papillae we have got the uh, we have got the uh, you know and this one is major a uh, major duodenal papillae and this one is the in, uh, you know call it minor duodenal papillae so these are not uh, something these are simple openings so major duodenal uh, uh, papillae is actually a big opening so where the both the bile duct and the uh, pancreatic duct open opens but if in case we have the accessory pancreatic duct this guy if we have got it this guy actually opened into the minor papillae uh, papillae minor uh, duodenal papillae so this is uh, this is it regarding the introduction of the uh, like your second part of duodenum. Nothing more important. We have got open. If you, somebody is asking you what is in in the second part of duodenum, you'll be saying we have got two papillae where actually your ducts are opening, your bile duct and your pancreatic duct open together because uh, as both the bile duct and pancreatic duct join together, they kind of form an ampulla. So the ampulla is kind of going to end up in your major duodenal papillae, uh, papillae right? So now, now let's talk about the relation of uh, the second part of the duodenum with different parts uh, that are around it. So if we talk about the second part of the duodenum, if we go through the uh, you know uh, relations of it, so we know anteriorly. If we go anteriorly, we know that they have we have the fundus of the gallbladder. We've just talked about it. We have got liver like this, and there is a gallbladder hanging down there. So this gallbladder kind of comes over the second part. So that's why the fundus is the ending part. The the bulging part of the uh, gallbladder actually kind of cover over the second part so we that's why we call the fundus of gallbladder is kind of on the anterior side of the this one the second part of the duodenum and you can also say the right lobe of liver kind of your your liver is like that so this one is your right lobe so also your right lobe of liver is actually on the anterior side so right lobe of liver right are you gonna add that one too and the third structure you're gonna say is your transverse colon a transverse colon like like why are you gonna say your transverse colon you can see this one is a colon this is ascending colon this guy is a transverse colon the transverse colon is kind of going anterior like I have just haven't shown it but if you if, if I draw it further on like if I draw this structure further on if I go further on so this guy guy kind of cover up your anterior part of the uh, first a uh, second part of the duodenum so that's why we add up uh, in the anterior relation we have the uh, transverse colon out here transverse colon and the other structure we have the coils of duodenum which I have forgot to mention we have coils of duodenum right coils of duodenum are actually kind of up upward on the upper side and the uh, ileum coils of ileum on the lower side so coils of duodenum duodenum right so now let's talk about the posterior structures 
of uh, the second part of the duodenum which are present uh, posterior to the second part of the duodenum so posteriorly we have got uh, it's very simple you know we have got i have talked about the hilum which is posterior to the second part so you would say the hilum of hilum of right kidney right so this is the first part we have the hilum of right kidney and the right ureter you can see i have made a right ureter hanging down from here so it actually comes out of the hilum and goes down so that's why it's posterior to the second part so i'll add up the right ureter as well in the posterior region so right ureter all right 